Cells have a pretty sophisticated cell membrane, which acts as a barrier to the outside world. We've described this membrane as selectively permeable, meaning not just anything can get through it. The key to this phrase is that the cell membrane is selective, but not impermeable. This is something like how you would keep your home. The walls of your house create a boundary and define the space, but there are still doors and there are windows through which you can let in your friends or some fresh air on a summer's day. So what crosses a cell membrane and why? Well, there are several types of ways to transport things across a cell membrane. When and how things travel uh, depends largely on the concentration of solutes in your cells or the dissolved molecules. In this lesson, we'll discuss methods of transporting solutes across a concentration gradient. A concentration gradient is a gradual difference in solute concentration between two areas. In this case, it's the difference in solute concentration between the outside of the cell and the inside of the cell. Solutes here would move by diffusion, or movement from a higher concentration of solutes to a lower concentration of solutes in order to equalize solute concentration. This evens out the concentration on both sides. This is like what happens when you leave the windows of your house open while your neighbor's having a barbecue. The smell might diffuse from next door, where this smell is stronger in the air, into your house, where, unfortunately, there are no hamburgers on the grill. Diffusion occurs until the inside of your house smells like the outside. Diffusion across the cell membrane is a type of passive transport, or transport across the cell membrane that does not require energy. Remember that the cell membrane is a phospholipid bilayer. Although the inside and the outside of a cell are both water-based, there is a hydrophobic region in the middle, and this is an important barrier to anything large, charged, or hydrophilic. Molecules that are hydrophobic, just like the hydrophobic region, can pass through the cell membrane by simple diffusion. Therefore, simple diffusion is the unassisted passage of small, hydrophobic, nonpolar molecules from higher concentration to a lower concentration. Very small molecules can slip through the cell membrane too, even if they are hydrophilic, just like a few ants might crawl through a crack in the wall just because they're tiny. So how do large, charged, or hydrophilic molecules pass through the cell membrane if they can't simply just diffuse in? Well, think of how your friends come into your house. Under most circumstances, they'll use a door. A package delivered at your residence would come through your door too, but it would need someone to carry it in. A fly might come through an open window on its own, while a squirrel could come down your chimney. There are different types of passageways into the cell, just like there are different ways to get into your home depending on who or what is trying to get through. So each method of passage through the cell membrane might be useful to different molecules. So facilitated diffusion is passive transport that uses integral membrane proteins to help larger, charged, hydrophilic, and polar molecules across a concentration gradient. Remember that integral membrane proteins span the phospholipid bilayer, connecting the inside and the outside.